you guys and thank you for joining me. Today I am tackling just another one of those reference photos that I've been looking at for a very, very long time. I've always known I was going to do this with a really simple white background to let the colour of these birds stand out. Uh, but I've always kind of thought it would kind of look really squashed up on my standard A3 size paper. But now, after completing that large cockatoo piece, I suddenly realised I could draw these rainbow bee eaters on a larger sheet of paper. Yeah, I know, it seems obvious, but honestly, I just hadn't considered making larger colour pencil pieces up until now. So I cut a piece of Asha's Hot Press watercolour paper to around 40 by 60 centimetres and I got to work. Something that I was really concerned about was getting the colour of their wings right. Now, they have this green, blue, brown shift that I was very hesitant to think that I might not be able to get right. Um, but just like anything that I'm worried about, I just started layering colours very lightly until things started to come together. This was far from an exact science or uh, me pretending I had any idea what I was doing. I was honestly just throwing colours at a page and hoping to see something that would work. I spent a lot of time looking at my reference photos, looking at my colour charts for my pencils and really just trying to match what I saw within that picture. These colours were far from certain, they were hard to see in that reference photo. The little areas where the green shifted into the brown that shifted into the blue were really quite challenging for my eye to pick up. and did take a lot of going backwards and forwards to get something that started to look right. I would love to tell you that this was uh, based on some sort of inherent skill that I have but honestly this was just trial and error and in this case I think I was lucky to get exactly the colours that I wanted. Um, I have put off trying to attempt this drawing for so long because I was afraid of trying to get that shifting colour right. But in the end, it's just like anything else that I know, and I always tell you guys, you just kind of got to bite the bullet, put it down and see how it turns out. I ended up using so many pencils as I attempted to get the colours right. Uh, just sort of picking up a colour, seeing that no, that's not the right one, putting it back in the drawer. It was absolutely insane. After all that experimentation, I was really happy with how this piece was headed. <sighs> but this wasn't to last. It was about this point of the drawing that I was placed on a fancy new medication that started causing a really big problem. You see, this medication, while very good for my condition, <sighs> made my hands really weak and prone to sudden twitches. Oh, it's not really ideal for a colour pencil artist. Oh, this piece was going to be put aside for a little while. I actually felt pretty awful about this. Um, the urge to create still burned away in my mind. Uh, so I did a few basic paintings and practices in my sketchbook. Oh, eventually I just figured, fuck it, it's only paper. And I really wanted to see this piece done. And if I couldn't make the fine lines that I wanted to, then I suppose there'd be some wobbly lines instead. So everything at this point on was created with a little less precision than usual. After doing a quick little recap of this piece with my patrons over on Patreon, uh, just to get an idea of where I was up to because I'd left it for so long, I moved on to the second bird. Now, this little guy is positioned very differently than any bird I've ever drawn before. The full view of both wings from behind was a challenge for me to put down. I had to fight the feeling that I was doing it wrong. But I just kept at it, adding down layers and, and putting down what I saw in my reference photo. And by the time the whole bird was done, it started to look right again. But it really did take a long time to wrestle with 
my own preconceived notion of what a bird should look like from the backside. That last bird, I was pretty familiar with the colours that I would need to use to layer to get the colours right, except this time I got to draw that little tiny bee that's been caught for dinner. Part of me kind of wanted to leave this one out. It's a little macabre, but also I kind of wanted to draw it in. Those stripes and those little legs, even though he was in such an unfortunate position. The reference photo for this piece was from wildlifereferencephotos.com. So these bee eaters are from the, Europe, um, the European version. Oh, but I would really love to draw some Australian bee eaters. They look very similar in shape, but they are coloured in shades of teal and jade and cur turquoise. Oh, they can actually be found in the bush really close to my home. But I lack the bird watching knowledge and the photography skills to get a good reference photo. But oh, I'd love to get out there and try though. Bird watching has always seemed like such a kind of daggy <laughs> thing to do. I'm really sorry, bird watchers. But oh my god, think of all the reference photos. Woody, what are you doing? So now with all three birds in place, I coloured in the branch to connect all together. And with that, this piece was done. So here's the end result. I think the larger piece really makes this whole very simple composition stand out so much more and I think it'll look amazing behind a frame. That however though we'll have to wait. Uh, for now I've had to create a new folder to keep this piece safe since all of my usual folders for art are just way too small. I'm really enjoying working at this larger size and I think I'm gonna do a whole lot more. As always, I would like to thank my patrons. You guys have been amazing during my recent kind of semi-absence. Your support has been amazing and I'd really like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this piece. In my next video, I will be reviewing the Coloured Soul Magazine's Grisai kits. They turned out to be much more interesting than I first thought. So if you'd like to see that, then why not hit that subscribe button. But for now, I'll see you guys all again real soon. Bye guys.